pajama set here. It's just a pair of shorts with a tank top. And I forgot to show you earlier, when you do shorts, you can make it to where you fold it, just like I did in the last pair, up. And then if you wanted to save room in your drawer, you could actually roll the shorts um, and that would save room, but I don't really have that problem because my drawer, um, I have everything organized just how I need it right now. So anyhow, I'm going to fold it in thirds just like I did before. And then I'm going to do the tank top. And this is how I fold my shirts. Now this one here is a tank top, so it's going to be a little bit different. But I'm going to, again, put the, the top down so the I'm so sleepy or whatever it, is it says is going to be on the bottom facing the bed and I straighten it out now with regular shirts I would just fold and fold but with tank tops I like to fold the straps down so they don't get in the way and then I fold in thirds so I fold one and then I fold this one too and then I straighten it out it's kind of hard to do with one hand and I'm sure the camera's bouncing all around. I apologize. I do not have one of those fancy tripods or anything like that yet. Um, and of course this is going to drive me crazy so I'll have to fix it later. See how that is there and it's supposed to be over there. But anyway, and then I like to do either in thirds or fourths. Since this is not very long, I'm going to do it in thirds. But what I do when I'm folding pajama sets is I fold that and then I put the shorts in and then I do the other third. That way it is together and I don't have to search around in my drawer or anything like that. So that is my pajamas.